Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we've got a cool groove and a cool drum fill. Uh, the drum beat has got sort of like a displaced snare drum on the upbeat one, which gives it a nice sort of funky vibe that sort of works in sort of any sort of 4 4 like rock or pop context. And we've got a nice drum fill using some hurters and some 30 second notes, which we spray around the kit. It sounds pretty cool. So um, let's dive straight in. All right, so let's get the drum beat down first. We've got the standard eight note ostinato on the hi-hat, so one and two and three and four and. For beat one, we've got this little pattern where we're going one, kick drum on one, E is a little ghosty, and is a hi-hat, and then uh is a big fat accent. One, E and uh. For beat two, we've got two, E and uh. I had to think about that for a little while. So beat two, just a hi-hat. E is just a kick. The and is a kick and a hi-hat. And then the uh is another little ghost note. So if we put beats one and two together, we've got one E and two E and uh. One E and two E and uh. And that's beats one and two, done. Beats three and four go three E and uh. So we've got a bass drum and hi-hat. E is a little ghosty. And is a ghost note and a hi-hat. And then uh is a kick. Three E and uh. And then for beat four, we've got four and uh. Okay, so it's together and uh, so right, left. And a couple of times, or what I might be doing throughout the video, sometimes we play like a little drag, so we're gonna get this just to sort of lead back into beat one, which will sound. Which always sounds quite cool. Um, or sometimes we could play like two 30 second note double strokes. So we get right, right, left, left at the end. So we take the and of beat four and turn that into like a 30 second note double. So we get this. And that's the groove. All right, so let's take it to the overhead camera. I'll play a couple of different speeds and then we'll have a look at that drum fill. Here we go. Okay, so let's have a little crack at this drum feel. We've got some herters and some 30 second notes. A herter is like three 16th notes, and then you take one of them and split it into two 30 second notes. In this case, we're gonna take the first of our three 16th notes and then split that into two 30 seconds. So if I play what we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. A little bit faster. All right, we're just gonna play a couple of these, or like two and a half technically two and a third. And we're gonna start it off by playing just a snare drum and a hi-hat. That's gonna be our first 16th note. So we're gonna have one, E, and then and, uh. And then we're gonna carry that little doo-doo, bat, bat pattern on. And we're gonna play it two times and finish with a final doo-doo up on the high time. So you get this. And that's gonna take up beats one and two. One, E, and, uh, two, E, and uh. All right, and once we play those last two final 30 second notes up on the high tom, that's gonna set the tempo for the, the rest of our fill, which is all 30 second notes. So we've got this little pan. So the final two beats, and these are all 30 second notes, is gonna be six notes on the snare drum. Two, three, four, five, six, and then the last two up on the high tom. All right, so we've got two groups of eight to think of. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So beats three and four of our fill are. One more time. Okay. 
had to think about that then. Okay, so all together. And again. Time a bit quicker. It's quite a nice fun one to play. All right, so if we now have a look at the overhead camera and what that's gonna look like well, from up there, then uh, we'll take the groove, take the feel, and then get a nice little four bar loop going. So here we go. Cool, now we've got both drum beat and drum feel down. What we'll do is we'll put them both together, play your drum beat three times round, vary the ending up a tiny bit, just to the and and the up of beat four, and then uh, on your fourth round, go for that drum feel. So it might sound a bit like this. Now after I've done this last note, the and of beat four, instead of playing right left, I'm gonna go right kick, and that's gonna act as a pickup note, and then I'm gonna go into my fill. So I should play that again, and uh, not stop midway through. <laughs> That's what I'll do now if I just play that a couple of different speeds and then uh, I'll come and say goodbye. Here we go. Okay guys, so there it is. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to pop over to onlinejobber.com if you want to go and grab the sheet music completely for free. Um, again, a massive thank you to my new patron. Um, if you, like him, want to go and sign up and sort of help support the channel, there's uh, links down in the description below. Also, if you want to come and find me on Facebook or Twitter, there's links down there for that as well. So, until next time, take care, keep drumming, and I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun free drumming ideas. All right, see you later.